Matt Hardy attended a Raw last night. It was in Raleigh, North Carolina. And, Raleigh. Uh, <laughs> Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. 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 <laughs> Would you stop trying to correct me? What do you think? You're Italian now? Wale. It was Wale, Raleigh, no. North Carolina. <laughs> and the point of this is, this wouldn't even have been a story at all. Except but Rebby Hardy exists. His wife decided to put all this footage on social media. I will say one thing. Whatever you want to say about Rebby. She's got energy. This is a lady who does what she wants. Yes, she does. She's just going to do what she wants. And so it's kind of a thing because she posted video on social media. But, you know, it's a, it's a new business. And, you know, they don't necessarily want people to be on camera. Although it does happen every now and then, there was that famous incident where Britt Baker was in the in the audience for uh, one of Adam Cole's NXT matches, and the the director just like, oh, there's a good looking lady, let's film her. They put her on TV, and they claim they had no idea it was Britt Baker, <laughs> but she's right there on television. What a rib! And I think uh, wasn't Buddy? Didn't they show Buddy Matthews next to uh, Rhea Ripley? Rhea Ripley mm-hmm. a little while ago. I uh, see. I thought you were going all the way back to TNA days, where the Highlander, uh, what was his name, Robbie or whatever it was. That guy got in big trouble. The... Yeah, big but time. things are different now as far as like visiting. So I got a list here, and this is not a complete list. But when Cody made his WWE return, QT and Aaron Solo were there, and they were backstage. They were backstage at the show when he made his debut. Then when uh, we had the Royal Rumble, we had Mark Henry, QT, and Starks all backstage. Uh, Thunder Rosa apparently was at the, uh, the Royal Rumble under a mask. That was sneaky. She wore a mask. Hmm. And then at the, uh, Boston show, Bailey and Naomi were both there. And Tamina. <laughs> but they did have to uh, alert WWE that they were going to that one. Lex Luger obviously was at Sting's retirement. Kevin Nash was not. And, uh, the big difference is that, uh, the video was out that uh Rebby posted but <laughs> hey m- you know Matt Hardy's in the middle of contract negotiations and we were told that WWE did not give him comps he got comps from a local skincare doctor and uh decided <laughs> to go to the show wait so there you go all right take Bye. care of your skin Mike don't question Matt Hardy that's you know you got to keep it moisturized yes so uh I would say that this story is largely much ado about nothing but it was uh, it was talked about quite a bit yesterday. Well, at least it's a little bit of something where, you know, Charlotte Flair was shown, I think, a couple of times. It's the CMLL show. I mean, at this point, with Vince being gone, you know, it's time to let the adults, you know, some more adults try to get in and get their opinions, which is, you know, it's okay. Again, we don't have to actually say anything about that wrestler on our show or whatever they can be see it's not like it's any sort of big deal at all i mean you know it's crazy unless you're using a trademark name on the other show and and, and pointing it out or something like that doesn't matter and you know another thing i know that there are people that they they want to believe that nothing has changed wwe is still exactly as it always was but it very much is not and Shayna baszler First off, a WWE wrestler is going to be working one of the independent shows around the area over WrestleMania weekend. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but there was a period where WWE wanted to like crush all of these shows so there would be no other shows running around WrestleMania weekend. They wanted the weekend entirely to themselves. And now, not only is that not what's happening, but Shayna is going to be wrestling, fighting, wrestling, uh, on Josh Barnett's Bloodsport 10. And she will be facing Masha Slamovich, who was a former two-time TNA Knockouts champion. So obviously, you know, WWE, I don't want to say they have a working agreement because people get mad, but clearly WWE and TNA are on good terms. And if they come up with an idea, you know, they're, they're, they will work together. And so a WWE wrestler is not only wrestling a TNA wrestler on a Josh Barnett show, but, you know, there are other... uh, Nick Nemeth is on the show, who is working for, I think, everybody right now. Johnny Bloodsport, Johnny TV, and AEW is working the show. He's facing Josh Barnett, Manor Suzuki, and Royce Isaacs. (laughs) Yeah, Nick Nemeth is facing Mike Bailey. 
And apparently there are going to be other WWE talents uh, that will be there as well. Oh, give me filthy Tom Lawler and Chad Gable, please. Hey. Please, Lord. All I know is is things have changed. And whatever you want to say about whoever, you know, WWE is a lot more open to, hey, you know, do the blood sports show. You know, we're once work on a show with people who work with AEW. That's the actually the bigger surprise, to be honest. That's what I can't wait for, because technically Blake Christian is under an ROH contract, but he's been the GCW champion for a long time. We have now opened up the doors for finally Omas to show up at the showboat in Atlantic City and beat Blake Christian, and Omas can be the GCW champion. Scrotal is here. If that is his real name. Says WWE is friendly with groups who pose no threat to them. Well, Scrotalis, nobody poses any threat to WWE right now. So that would basically be every other promotion on Earth. Back in a moment, Observer Live. And the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Simper, VB, also WrestlingObserver.com. Tomorrow's NXT. No, tonight. tonight. Golly, what a lucky day. Mm-hmm. I well, guess. we've got Trick Williams versus Noam Dar. It should be really good. Noam Dar is great. We've got a tag team qualifier, Gallows and Anderson versus Hank and Tank. Another tag team qualifier, Axiom and Nathan Frazier versus two members of the No Quarter Catch crew. Who? Well, we don't know. Because, yes, we've got tag team qualifying matches here, Raw, and SmackDown. And SmackDown is doing it differently from Raw. SmackDown is doing a mini tournament. And Raw's just doing qualifiers. Crockett Cup season. Heritage Cup qualifier. Uh, Raw, Riley Osborne will be facing one member of the No Quarter Catch Crew. A Heritage Cup qualifier? What? I thought it was just a Heritage Cup match. Yeah. Did somebody mess up here? Roxanne Perez versus Tatum Paxley. No, that's happening. Sol Ruka versus Brinley Reese. We can finally prove that they are two different people. One's a surfer, one's a... What is Brinley Reese? She, she's, the, she's the gimmick uh, Thea Hale. <laughs> she does a Thea Hale gimmick on the show that Thea Hale is on. It's like Mariah and Tony. This is a really weird show when you really think about it, how bizarre <laughs> yes, it this is. is. Yes. It's not like, you know, doing a spoof of somebody on AEW. She's literally spoofing someone on the show she's on. Are we going to get movie-level drama tonight again between Ilya Dragunov and Tony D'Angelo? We have to. Well, right? we'll hear we from know. Tony D, so probably. And we will also hear from Oba Femi. So a lot of hearing tonight <laughs> on the show. A lot, a lot of talking on this It's show. like a hearing test. We will hear from all these well, people. Let's be honest, Brian, like you've been talking about. Well, you know, The NXT is supposed to get you ready for the main roster, and what are you going to be doing on the main roster? Lots of talking. So you Well, yeah, we'll get to it. Raw later. Then we've got Dynamite and Rampage back-to-back on Wednesday night. Christian versus Copeland, I quit for the TNT title. Eddie Kingston versus Okada. Deanna and Thunder Rosa versus Tony Storm and Mariah May. Jericho versus Hook. We'll hear from Mercedes Monet. That's another person we're going to hear from. Also, Best Friends versus Kyle Fletcher and Powerhouse Hobbs in a tag team tournament wild card match. If they win, they get into the tournament. These brackets. And Chris Statlander and Willow Nightingale versus Julia Hart and Sky Blue in a street fight, which probably will be the main event of Rampage at the uh, three hour mark. So uh, that's the lineup. And then we also have a bunch of matches announced for SmackDown and Raw. Friday SmackDown has the Cody Rhodes Roman Reigns face to face. Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson versus Grayson Waller and Austin Theory in a tournament match, qualifying tournament match. Street Profits versus Authors of Pain, also in a qualifying tournament match. Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar, which hopefully gets more time than that Dragon Lee Santos Escobar from this past Friday. Mm. And Io Sky versus Naomi. We don't have an update on Asuka. And, uh, like, I didn't even know she got hurt. But I heard she got hurt. And so I went back and I watched it. And I rewound this thing over and over and over and over. She wasn't even in the match. No. And I was like, how in the world did she get hurt? And I don't know if this is the spot, but somebody sent me, from the company, sent me a video saying this is what happened. And what it was, it's like impossible to believe. It's like she was 
like kneeling on the apron and she just jumped off and landed on the ground. That was it. And, uh, man, I hope she's all right because otherwise I don't know what's going to go on. But she was limping around. She couldn't do anything. Couldn't put weight on the leg. Nothing. So, uh, that sucks. And I've heard nothing on Bailey. Apparently Bailey is fine, which I don't even know how. EO moonsaulted her right in the face, but apparently she's okay. But I guess we'll see who is on SmackDown Friday. Well, I guess worst case scenario with Asuka is you could put um, Dakota Kai in that spot for the tag titles if need be, if she's going to be out and miss time. You do have that option at least. I'm a, now, does if Hank and Tank defeat Anderson and Gallows, do they get their match on SmackDown? To that no, it's a different match? tournament, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Different tournament. Guess Vinny's surgery. Hernia surgery from carrying the Brian of any show on his back, Jack, for all of these years. Oh, get out of here. Penis reduction. <laughs> Short Granny, surgery. Granny laugh. Granny. Removal of cyst near his left testicle. Oh, my gosh. I think what? it's called your penis. <laughs> Sean, out. The John Holmes extension. The adedictomy. <laughs> this guy says oh. gag reflex removal. That's mean. He put a pork chop in his rectum. I think that you've been suffering from sore assesis. Seven days you've been saving that <laughs> yeah. one. The fact is, I went to the hospital to get hemorrhoids removed. Pain, discomfort, and also being very, very tired all the time. It's dragon ass. <laughs> Greg, please. <laughs> hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.